Do you think a push for legal banking for cannabis would relieve some of the target pressure that the heavy cash businesses have? I, I like the way you put that target pressure. Absolutely. <laughs> because right now the perception is that these businesses are loaded up with product. They're loaded up with cash on hand. They make for an easy score. Once you take that illusion out of it, out of people's minds, they're not going to be as easy of a target. So you've got a situation where you've got a criminal element that thinks that there's a lot of cash available. There's a, a lot of product available that has a high resale value on the street. So you take all that, couple it with the fact that you don't have criminal penalties or they're not as significant as they used to be, you're going to target cannabis stores. Now, what a lot of the people on that side don't understand is the cannabis businesses that are set up, particularly the ones that are licensed, they've got a lot of security measures in place from the cameras to their storage, to their safes, to their vaults, to product not really being out available on the shelves to be stolen. So a lot of the times they think it's an easy target. They think it's a big score. Ultimately, it really ends up not being it, but you do have stores that when they get hit, they get hit pretty hard. So with safe banking and all that stuff, if you were to remove the illusion of just a room full of cash, just waiting for somebody to step in and take it, once you take that illusion out, I don't think they're as easy of a target.